this is like walking around the garden center. My problem with that, Philip, is that I get excited and then I don't read the little card about what's required and then when it doesn't work. Ooh. I'm like, wait a minute. That's why we, one of the many reasons that we need you. This is the, and I've always called these Amanda Villa. Hopefully that's okay. Over a thousand yes, of yes these indeed. already picked up. This is an amazing, amazing live plant that you're going to get brand new this month. It's a tropical vine, vine rather. It will come in a one, in a half gallon pot. You'll get one in a half gallon pot. Three easy pays at $9.99. This is an annual, so this will come back season after season. I see it in the pot. You know, my no, sister. Let me tell you. Wait a minute. It's an annual. It, it doesn't come back unless you bring it in. Ah, it's okay. Not, so it's that's... not perennial. Okay. But, but let me tell you about it. Is that okay. I'm shipping you out a big plant because one thing I love about this one, the regular mandevillas, um, yeah. are had the big coarse leaves with the big pink flowers. They're certainly beautiful. This is more delicate. It's got the nice, almost uh, like Carolina jasmine foliage. Mm -hmm. um, and also, see the one right. that you're, that's covered in blooms. And by the way, those are real blooms yeah. uh, that you've got there. Look and it is, it's called Sunbeam, but it is a butterscotch yellow. I love, love that color. Um, it's dense, leaf. it's bushy, and it's absolutely full of sunshine. The hummingbirds love it, and because it's only two feet by two feet, you can bring your pot in, and I love them in mm -hmm. containers, and put it in a sunny window, and it will bloom all winter long. And it's not something that's going to eat up your house, you know, like some large uh -huh. tropicals that you have to bring in. But this blooms from spring until frost. It's never wispy. It's gorgeous to add with your sun patients, uh, and it just gives you something different. It's like a vacation in the garden. The leaves are really shiny. They almost look waxy. And this definitely, yes. I mean, this filled up this entire pot. Yes, and, and that's that's what they do. But you can see the habit. The regular mandevillas mm -hmm. will you know, sometimes get seven or eight feet tall and also don't have, they'll have big blooms, but not a lot of them. Right. That's big clusters of blooms. It's almost like it's, it is the same color as Carolina jasmine, but the blooms are bigger and they're bigger clusters of them. So if you like Carolina Jasmine and you would like to have one that's ramped up looking, this is the way it looks. It's like uh, Carolina Jasmine on steroids, um, <laughs> but ju just a great look and the hummingbirds will come to it. Uh, if you oh, have I a small patio garden, yeah. you can have this in a container sitting on a table in your patio garden and expect to get lots of hummingbirds visitors. Look at that. Because it looks just like yes. what hummingbird feeders look like many times. Yeah. You know, when our, yes. our dear friend Roxanne De Palma one? has that. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to get this along with it. So, it, and let me make sure that I'm saying this correctly, because around here, the mandevilla that I've seen, like my sister Karen has one that grows over her, um, what do you call it? Um, where Arbor. you get your mail. Her post. Or, the mailbox. Her mailbox. Um, her, I'm still missing that hour of sleep um, from last right, honey, week. I can do all the talking if you want me to. <laughs> um, and it comes back year after year, and it's fabulous. But this is no. a, a different kind because this one is an annual. It does so, not come back year after year. Yeah. So um, she probably has clematis. Oh, um, I bet you're right. Yes. You are that's right. That's what she has. Yeah. And you haven't even been to her house. Topical. Yes. But this one, if I put in a container, I can bring in the house, which is fabulous. And it just, it's just a mound of flowers and glossy, beautiful leaves. You know what else? Yes. Well, would this, I have in my one o'clock hour, Philip, this really cool, like, sculpted kind of, wait, I'm gonna run across the set. I know y'all think I'm crazy. Keep talking. And I wanna yes. show you this, and then you tell <laughs> us whether it'll be okay to do it. All right. I'll come yes. back in a second. All right. Well, I tell you what, if you want some sunshine in your garden, this is that great butterscotch look. It goes with everything. I've got a white stucco house. It's great in front of fences, but this is uh, manageable. Only two feet tall and two feet wide. And I'm telling you, you will hardly see the foliage because of all the blooms that this will have. And that is all season. I bring my container in. I put it in the sunny window, in my kitchen window, in fact. And then I have these blooms all winter. Winter is too long to go without flowers and I want mine to come from myself, not from the grocery store.
and so especially e these easy colors. Care. All right. Yes. So here's my question, and if it's if yes. it's wrong, that's you're here to correct me. Um, this is coming up. It's from Linda Vodder. Um, yes. It might be a little. Would would something like that? Would you be able to grow the vine around something like that? Yes, indeed. In fact, that would okay. give it some support. Yes, I think that's yeah. a great idea, and that also is the perfect size. Right. So yes, I would pick that up and, and okay. stick that in your pot, and then you're good to go, and it looks like sculpture. Yeah, I thought that would be really, really Handsome. beautiful. I definitely need these because I own two of these from last year from Linda Vodder, and we'll talk about that in the one o'clock hour, by the way, friends. But when I saw how, like, viney and and you know the movement that's captured with this, I just thought that that might be perfect because yeah, it would look look great yeah. together. Oh, awesome. and also people do get these in pairs on a a pair of pots on either side of whichever mm -hmm. door that you like to use the yeah. most. But uh, bring, bring some happiness uh, in, and it's also something that other people don't have. Yes. But it's low maintenance. Low maintenance doesn't have to be ugly. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and move on with this one. But just so that you know, this is M90290. If you've never grown these, and that's the fun about gardening, is try something new this year. Have fun with it. Um, this, and we need to put this back in the one o'clock show so that I don't mess everybody up. Um, but it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And all of these.